start. Mr. Rizzoli. Uh, thank you, Madam Moderator. Jim Rizzoli, Precinct 14. Uh, most everything that I was going to say has been said. Now, a couple things I'm going to say. Um, first of all, there are some towns that have open town meeting. Now, could Framingham have an open town meeting and maybe we'd get 200 people, right? I mean, think about it. On an open town meeting, we probably will get 216 people at the town meeting. But no one has proposed that. But what they have proposed is this. They're proposing to take your vote away. Okay, now the speaker mentioned that the, uh, the more people in representative government, which is us town meeting, that's a good thing. I'm noticing a trend that's happening in Framingham that's very bothersome to me. I'm noticing that they, they want to tighten up Framingham. They want to make it a city that's tightening it up. They want to you know, do this or do that to tighten things up. That's all tightening things up is is taking your vote away. I mean, think about it, all right? We have, what, maybe 100 people here today, all right? That's not many people. But again, when you, when you have these things happen, you're going to restrict the people to vote that are here. That's not what you want. I mean, I like to see an open town meeting and we'll probably get the 200 people here. But now I'm going to give you an example of what can happen even if they do this. It doesn't matter. Okay, if you bring it down to nine. And here's why. When I got in the town meeting, I didn't really care about town politics myself, and I, and I you know, got in with, what, one, two votes. I got in with two votes because no one else was running. So I said to myself, well, no one else is running, I'll just get in and, you know, see what I can do. So I got in with two votes. Now, some people here think that's a horrible thing that I got in with two vote votes. Well, I'm here. If, if I didn't have the two votes, I wouldn't be here. So then we have another empty seat. So what do you want? I mean, you want me not here? Which I'm sure some people would say yes. But I mean, that's the way it is, isn't it? But I'm here, and I came, when I came to town meeting, here's, here's what I vowed. I vowed that I was gonna come to every town meeting. That's what I vowed to do, and I have. I think I have had perfect attendance unless I was sick or, or whatever. But that's how it should be. But let me tell you what happened that was really not a good thing, and this is what could happen. When you, when, you start, when you start restricting how many people are at town meeting. Now my brother and I got in with just a few votes, all right? But a lot of people didn't want my brother and I at town meeting. So you know what they did? They actually, when it came time to election, they actually sent out flyers in my community in Precinct 14 to get other people to run against my brother and I. There was no need to do that. We were there, we were coming to all the meetings, but they didn't want us in the town meeting. I never saw that ever happen at town meeting, but they wanted us out. And guess what? They succeeded. They got my brother and I out the last time around. That was absolutely horrible to see that that could happen. And it can still happen. You could be in town meeting today, and now as they restrict the seats down to nine, now what's going to happen, they're going to say, I want Joe Schmo out. So they're going to run someone against you. And they're going to put money behind it and send out a mailing. And they're going to get you out and get their person in. That's how politics works. It's not right. Ethically, that was wrong, what they did to my brother and I. I would never do that to anybody. If people are coming to town meeting and, and at least showing up and taking up a seat, you should be happy that they were there but it doesn't work that way. There are some people in this town that want complete control of what goes on in this town meeting. And it's, it's not bad enough that we have a, a one party system here as it is. There's no conservative voice here at town meeting now. There's none at all. All the Democrats run the town. I know you're not going to want to hear that, but if you do, you run the town. town meeting is, is nonpartisan. Oh, please, please. please. Would you please? It, it, please, come on, will you please? The Democrats run the town. There's no conservatives. There's no Republicans. There's no people Mr. that Rizzoli, think that. I think you're, oh, way, come on. you're way off yeah. topic. I'm not going over. I'm just telling you the truth. You're way off topic. Oh, come yes. on. But you that's are. the Rizzoli, point. thank you very and, much. Okay, you, let me finish up by saying, well, is my five minutes up? You've got 30 seconds. Okay. So make it Again, to the point. Again, everybody has a say in this town no matter who they are. 
And if they show up at town meeting and are taking up a seat and they come here, you should be happy that they are here. And that's it. Thank you, Mr. Rizzoli. Um, the gentleman at the back of the room.